Hey everyone, I have a lot to get into and it's gonna be a long video. So let's just jump right into it. I've started doing my Nordstrom anniversary sale recommendations in 2015. That was the first one that went up. A lot has changed and a lot has stayed the same. I'm still gonna tell you what's worth it, what's not. What's changing today is first of all, normally we do a page by page walkthrough of the catalog. This year's catalog is terrible. We're not gonna do it. Don't worry, it is not indicative of what's actually in the sale. So many good things. So another thing that has changed is I didn't need these back in 2015, but I do now because I have a lot to read to you. Because there is a limit by YouTube on how much you can put in the description box, I can't list every single thing I'm going to recommend. So I made it a little bit easier. I have made collages of just about every single thing that I am recommending in the anniversary sale. Those collages are gonna be going up here. We're gonna hit a few of the high points. They are all living on the LTK app. So if you wanna follow me, Miss Gold Girl, just like Instagram on the LTK app, they are there. If you're not an LTK app person, totally get it. Also going to have pages, well they should be live by now, on my website on missgoldgirl.com. Every single category we're talking about here, every single item will all be listed there as well. I had someone impersonating me, telling people they had won a giveaway and to contact them via a third party app. That was not me, but I did promise a giveaway during my story time video that went up Sunday. The winner is Diane Milligan. Diane, shoot me an email at marnie at missgoldgirl.com or send me a DM on Instagram at missgoldgirl and we will connect and I will get your goodies sent out to you ASAP. I'm not gonna go into all the details of when the Nordstrom anniversary sale is. It can all be found down on the website, so I will put that link down in the description box as well. And I also wanted to dispel a myth that has been going around for a long time, not about me specifically, but influencers in general. I've seen and heard a lot of complaints. It's not fair, the influencers get to shop first, we buy up all the stuff, and then there's nothing left for public access. I can assure you that is very much not the case. Not one influencer I know gets to go in and shop ahead of anybody else. We shop according to our own personal spending level. So if, if there's an influencer that spent 15 grand or more the previous year, they get to shop first. So I get to shop day two of the sale. I will have a dress, dressing room try on and just some other stuff to share with you right after that before the end of early access. So what we're going to do today is we're gonna go category by category. I'm gonna give you one or two recommendations. Remember to hit those links uh, so you can see all the things. And let's get started. I'm going to put on my glasses so I can actually see what I'm talking about. Skipping accessories, there's only three things in there. I just feel like you can find better options at Walmart or Amazon for most of it. So no, we're moving on. Active wear, I am not particularly suited to give you recommendations on actual workout wear. And again, for me, that's gonna be Walmart or Amazon, but athleisure, Nordstrom is great. I personally recommend anything from Zella. They have some new leggings. I believe they're called Studio Light with pockets that are in the sale this year. Outstanding, much more lightweight. It feels like you're not wearing anything. Um, had to link those. And then I'm still loving my all things joggers and the Zella live in pocket joggers, outstanding. So those are the two standouts for active wear. For beauty, that category, I could do a whole video on that all by itself. I believe I'm up to 42 items. I'm not gonna go through all 42. There are so many, I've had to break up my collages into categories, so let's do that. And let's start with eyes. So what I would recommend, the standouts for me personally, I love the Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift. It is in the sale this year, paired with their eyeshadow base, which is outstanding. If you've not tried that yet, you need to get on that. The Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette to me looks outstanding. I love the shimmer colors and those soft shimmers, but then there's enough mattes to balance it out. They have one for the brow bone, one for the crease, just all the perfect colors. So I'm excited about um, that option. And you know I'm a sucker for a cream eyeshadow pencil and there are two great options here. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Duo and the Bobbi Brown Duo as well, but each actual pencil is two shades. So if you want best value for money, my, my vote is for the Bobbi Brown option because you get four shades for a really good price. Moving on to lips, lots of great options there. I would happily add all of those to my cart. Um, I'm not going to because I actually own a lot of it already, 
But again, every year the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk set sells out. This year, instead of the gloss, they swapped it out for their Happy Kiss formula. I think that is possibly a better idea. Can never go wrong with that. I am wearing the Bobbi Brown Duo from last year. This is a more brown undertone. The one that they're showing this year is similar, but more on the pink side of neutral. So I'm adding that to my cart. I am most excited about the Westman Atelier glosses that are included. I don't own either of those shades yet. So that is sitting on my wish list as well. As far as face and tools go, I combine them into one category. You're gonna get the most bang for your buck if you pick up that Ricky Loves Ricky Skinny mirror. I use mine for travel, it folds up totally flat, and it does come with a 10X magnifying mirror, which it didn't use to. I had to order mine separately, so I'm glad that's included in the cost, and it would also make a really, really nice gift for someone. Personally, sitting in my cart is that makeup bag. It's from Longchamp. I just don't have a nice makeup bag for travel. It's something I've always wanted. I believe that there's at least six color options, but I really like that sky blue. I am really excited that the Tom Ford Lost Cherry gift set is in the anniversary sale. I have bought that set personally twice. It's quite the investment because I believe I bought it at full price both times. It's still quite an investment, for, but for what it is, it's much less expensive than during the normal part of the year. So if you've been Waiting on that Tom Ford Lost Cherry, it's not gonna get better than this, so grab it. Um, also wanna point out that those Nest diffusers, I get them every year. My powder room smells amazing and they last about six months each. Really good value. Okay, let's get on to clothes. Would it be an anniversary sale without a Barefoot Dreams cardigan? Probably not. So, I've included two in my recommendations. The classic Barefoot Dreams circle cardigan, little more snug in the arms, so, if it's something you're concerned about, go with the other option that's right next to it. It's a longer line. It's gonna give you long lines. It's also less snug in the arms. So that would be my suggestion. Same kind of color overlap with those. They have the Madewell Kent cardigans in the sale again this year. I bought all the colors last year and the color block option. I love them. So I'm really glad they brought those back. So if you missed them, now's the time to snag them. They're warm, but they're lightweight, so they're not bulky. And obviously there's lots of other great cardigans in there. But for the sake of time, we are moving on to denim, pants, and leggings. So not as many offerings this year as last year. It's fine. I just want some good classic denim, and I'm really excited that my two favorite picks from last year are back, because I'm gonna buy more. These are expensive denim to begin with, so I'm really glad I can get them at about 40% off. So the AG Ex-Boyfriend Slim Straight Jeans, they have in a variety of, I wanna call them finishes, color, shades. And then they also have the Frame Lahai Straight Leg Cropped. Both of those are going in my cart. I do wanna talk about those olive green pants. Those are from Spanx. Spanx did send those to me. They run true to size, but the first time you put them on, like I have them in a small, and I'm barely a small, like I'm pushing it. So the first time you put it on, it will feel like you are a five pound sausage stuffing yourself into a two pound casing. Just bear with it and don't do it in front of anyone. When you finally just get them on over your hips, they fit like a dream and they're so comfortable. I, it's a phenomenon that I don't understand. Also, would it be an anniversary sale without the Spanx faux leather leggings? No, it would not. So there they are. This year, they're also offering a patent leather version you do you, I'm skipping those. Like I don't need any extra attention to my thighs and butt, um, but they are in the sale if that is your thing. For dresses, I personally don't have a lot of recommendations because the trend is to dress like we are all trying out for a remake of Little House on the Prairie, and I'm just not there. Now I have included a few floral options, but I went for something that's less Little House on the Prairie, a little bit more abstract. Um, I'm really excited about that bright blue dress that you're seeing there. It's just a pretty floral print and I do want to point out um, that sweater dress I'm really excited about you're seeing it in oatmeal it also comes in black it is the only sweater dress I've ever seen that's not a bodycon dress it's just a dress so I'm really excited about that and that black dress in the upper corner that you see that is the Eliza J flutter sleeve dress I bought it last year in wine didn't get in the black I think I'm gonna go back and get in the black this year it's a beautiful elegant well-made dress, runs true to size, and it's a classic. You're gonna reach for it, especially the black one, over and over and over. Definitely recommend picking that one up. Handbags, one of my favorite categories. 
If you are shopping for teen girls or girls in their 20s in particular, they love the wallet on a chain. And there are two really good ones. The one in the top that's more of a creamy ivory shade, that's the one from Rebecca Minkoff. It also comes in a metallic silver that would make a great going out purse. So I wanted to recommend that one. There's also the one next to it from Kate Spade. I love this, this coach top handle, also crossbody shoulder bag. It's a beautiful classic shape. So reminiscent of the old school coach. I'm a 90s girl. I love it. But personally, what I know I'm putting on my wish list in my cart is that beautiful brown quilted tote bag from Rebecca Minkoff. It has a bunch of zippers. It's a little more structured. I can fit my laptop. Do have more of like a work tote bag. That's the one I'm going for. If you prefer black, the black option I believe is all black with black hardware, but I love something really rich and elegant about that kind of brown with the vintage gold hardware. I think it is stunning. Before we move on from handbags, I do want to point out a bag that is all over their catalog and website, and it's this beautiful acrylic evening bag. The reason I'm not recommending it, it's about $300 and I've seen so many knockoffs on Amazon that look just like it that I cannot in good conscience recommend that you spend $300 on a bag that you know looks like it came from Amazon. It's still cute from Amazon. I'm not knocking Amazon, but I'd rather you see you spend $300 on like a good leather tote bag than a trendy item. So that is why I am not personally recommending it, even though I will be ordering a version of it from Amazon very soon. Okay, moving on to Home and Hostess, one of my favorite categories, another standout, a perennial favorite, the Barefoot Dreams uh, throw blanket. This year, the In the Wild version comes in a slate blue that I am grabbing. A couple other new patterns, there's the floral one, of course there's the Bliss um, plush throw. I recommend it every year for every holiday, for every occasion. Stock up, it's under $30. It's that navy blue one that you're seeing in the collage, but it comes in a ton of colors. If you wanna ramp it up and make it a really special gift, um, Nordstrom does monogramming, or you can take it somewhere local, or if you're handy, do it yourself. And you can put someone's monogram or name on the corner. Makes a really great gift. At under $30, just grab a bunch in neutral colors and keep them around for just random gifts when you need one. As far as intimates and pajamas go, if you follow me for a while, you know that my heart belongs to Soma. I love their bras and underwear. Um, one of the Nordstrom vendors did send me some underwear to try. It's a no-go. So there's no underwear that I am recommending from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. But if you're a girl who insists you need an underwire, and I've heard from many of you who say you do, there's two I still recommend. They're both by Notori, the Notori Feathers Bra and the Notori Rose Bra. They are outstanding. They're still comfortable. They're not as comfortable as the ones underneath it. Um, but if you insist you need underwire, there you go. And they're at a discount, obviously. The ones underneath it are new to me. Uh, True & Co sent me a few of their bras to try out and I was pleasantly surprised. I, I love my Soma Emblis, the whole line, but I gotta say really, really, really like the True & Co sort of version of it. Um, it's very similar to the Emblis as far as the comfort goes. They're even thinner though, I think. And um, they have thinner adjustable straps, which the Endless Bralette does not, and they have convertible straps. So I'm very excited about that. And the Racerback version is beautiful as well. And I like that they have quite a few nude skin tones to choose from. Um, so loving those, had to recommend all of those. As far as jewelry goes, I'm not recommending the, I think it was $465,000 uh, diamond ring, but you can save over $200,000 if you buy it. Uh, no. I'm recommending two brands in particular, Kendra Scott, of course, and the Nordstrom brand. Like these stud faux diamonds, I think some refer to them as cubic zirconia. They're always offered in the sale. They are this year. Also the emerald cut ones are beautiful. I am eyeing those teardrop pave ones, great for dressing up. Great, not even an investment. They're like under 50 bucks and they're just gonna be something you reach for over and over and over again. So I would recommend all of those. I'm also personally really excited to see that Kate Spade is back in a big way, particularly the mini square glitter studs in three colors. I'm showing a new color in the collage, but the classic black with like the color confetti is in there as well. So I'm loving that, have to recommend those. As far as loungewear goes, I work from home and I have found that I've gotten into this horrible rut of rolling out of bed, sitting down the from in front of the computer and working all day long in my pajamas. It's not the healthiest routine. Even if I'm not gonna get fully dressed, 
I should just change into something a little bit nicer. Let's call it loungewear. I'm really excited about the Barefoot Dream set you see there. I actually own an older version of that set in that color. It is so comfortable. Something I definitely want to wear in the winter months. It's, it's warm. I'm not going to be able to wear it now. But I think I want to buy this version as well because my version doesn't have pockets and this one does. So it does come in another color, but I really love the carbon one. And then I really like the two-piece set there. You're seeing it in sort of a, I don't know, what like a tan. Also comes in black, which is what I would prefer. And something that I can wear in still a slightly warmer months. It's cotton. It's sort of a Henley top with a straight leg bottom. Um, that's what is sitting on my cart, so I want to recommend those. So, well, all the things in the collage, of course, but I can't sit and go item by item. That's what my website is for. As far as men's items go, it's for Peter Millar shirts. They're on my website. They're all for golf. All the guys in my family want them. They're all telling me it's a really, really good price. So um, I know that it's a brand that's pretty popular with a lot of you and your the men in your life, so I just wanted to bring that up. Outerwear, weirdly one of my favorite categories, even though I live in South Texas, and according to many of you, it doesn't get cold enough to wear a jacket, I beg to differ. The jacket I am most excited about for myself, still gonna recommend it to you, um, is the one at the top uh, left corner. It's a utility jacket that's made like an, act it's an active wear utility jacket. So I have a million utility jackets, just like the one on the opposite corner from Caslon. This one is truly a, a more of an active wear version. It's a lighter nylon material, a little bit longer in length, does have the adjustable sides, pockets, and a hood. So it's just something I can throw on when I'm walking the dogs, running out the door for something really low key. I don't have anything like it in my closet. So it's going in my closet. As far as recommendations for you all specifically, this is the time to grab a closet staple like a trench coat or a double-breasted sort of long camel coat. I've listed a few there. The two trench coats are great. It's the same trench coat in a long version and a short version. And then you cannot go wrong with a pea coat. And that navy pea coat is beautiful and it is a great price. If there is one category that Nordstrom shines in, it is shoes. It started out as a shoe store. Um, I buy a ton of shoes every year in the sale and end up buy, wearing two of them. So the one that is dead center, that nude booty, it's Vince Camuto booty, that's usually the one I wear every year. I picked that one as, as the shoe for 2022. It's just a standard booty, comes in lots of other colors, but I always wear the nude and I like this one over all the other ones because it has a zipper up the back. I don't like the slip on kind. Also, something I'm personally excited for, you guys already own both of these, those two white sneakers, the actual gym shoe is the Adidas Swift Run, my favorite uh, workout shoe. And I have it in the white on white and it has been sold out forever across all websites. And here it is on the sale. And then a white everyday sneaker to wear with dresses or you know just for non-working out. It's the Dolce Vita Xena sneaker. I own this one. Again, it disappeared from all websites and here it is back and it is in the sale. I will say size down at least a half in both of those shoes. And in the Dolce Vita Xena, there's a tiny little platform built into the heel, so it does give you a little bit of an elevated look. So um, that's a really nice bonus. There is one luxury shoe in there, that gold evening sandal. If I had not already gotten my, um, they're still over there, my Sarah Flint gold sandals, I would be grabbing these. I still might. These are half the price of the Sarah Flint shoes and they're beautiful. I love Stuart Weitzman, one of my favorite higher end shoe brands. I think it comes in another color as well, but I just love the really, really thin ankle strap. The, the gold is beautiful, but it's subtle. It's not like lame in your face. And it's a really good price for a Stuart Weitzman shoe. We have two categories left, so sweaters. First, let's talk about the one that got away. So I'm hearing from some of you already, you're slightly disappointed. You're seeing a lot of the same things from last year carried over into this year's sale. Well, I think that's fabulous for two reasons. One, I have a budget. Even though I wanted all the things, there's only so many things I could get. So there were things I missed out on because I couldn't buy everything I wanted. I'm sure everyone will, probably, I don't know, maybe some of you could get everything you wanted. Good for you, I couldn't. So I'm glad they brought some of it back because I still want it and now I have another shot at it. Second of all, a lot of this stuff sold out and I didn't even get a shot at it last time. So I'm hoping this is my year. So. The uh, longer length turtleneck that you see there on the bottom right corner of the collage, I skipped out on that one last year. It was the sweater of the year. I want it again. It's a classic, it's not going anywhere. And if you're like me and you just like to throw something on but still kind of look cute, 
throw that on with some leggings and some booties, you are good to go. Also, the blue sweater that is there, that is the Free People Marley sweater. I bought that the beginning of this year, I think, at full price and love it. So excited they are bringing it into the sale. It's back, I love that blue color. Definitely buying it in blue. Um, may buy it another one. Um, I would recommend not sizing down in that one because it's a little bit of a, unless you like a cropped sweater, it's a little bit cropped. So I will put down in the description box what my true size was because I can't remember if I sized, got my true size or sized up, but don't size down. And then the last category are tops. Again, I'm not gonna just recommend to recommend. So, you know, if you think you can get, I know you can get really cute tops on Amazon, Walmart. So um, the standouts for me are the higher investment pieces. You're getting more bang for your buck and they're, they're worth it. For me, it's the Rails Hunter button down shirts. I love these. I've never enjoyed wearing a button down shirt. So that plaid one on the upper right corner is what I'm talking about. There are about five or six options. This year, there is a Rails Hunter shirt in camo. It's the one on the bottom right corner of this collage. That's the one I've got my eye on. I think it looks amazing. It is the softest, thinnest material. If you are larger chested, I would say size up one, just so you don't have any gaping in the shirt. And then, if you're like me and you are a leggings girl, then you need to get that Free People tunic top. I got mine true to size, again, because I'm larger chested and I've, it was just gaping open but I love to wear a longer length top under cardigans so my business is covered up, but I hate having the long sleeves because it's all bunchy and it gets bulky underneath the cardigan sleeves. The Free People top does not. It's more of a waffle knit and it's, it, it's not super tight, but it definitely hugs the arm. So you can get your sleeves in the cardigans without all the material bunching up. It's long, comes in a bunch of colors, so um, that's a shirt you're gonna wear on repeat if you're a leggings kind of girl. So as of right now, those are almost all of my current recommendations. I skipped over a little bit there. So if you want every single thing listed, I can't do it here. YouTube has a limit on how many characters I can put in the description box. So please, please, please go check out all the pages on my website for all the things and all the information. I am here for you. Consider me your personal shopper and resource. So if you have questions about sizing and fit and colors and all that, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. There is lots of information in the description box, so please read all that as well, including an opportunity to sign up to get texts from me and to text me back. We can have a two-way conversation over in texting if Instagram isn't your thing. Thanks for hanging out today. Good luck with all the shopping. I will keep you posted with updates and try-ons as the sale progresses. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the normal content that will still continue. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.